Hello and welcome. Again, this is Paul Pappas from Mortgage Choice. So you've been out there looking at property and noticed that, that there are some properties that are being sold via an auction process, while others are not. Um, what's commonly called a private treaty. So how does this affect you in terms of how you go forward in terms of wanting to buy the property um, that, you've, that you've liked? Let's have a bit of a look. So what, what are the differences between the two? An auction property does not have a cooling off period. In other words, if you are successful in purchasing the property at an auction, you are required to sign the contract and pay the required deposit at the drop of the hammer. So um, all your prerequisites, all your checks, um, all your inquiries, um, all your negotiations in terms of contracts and so forth, all have to be done before the auction because there is no cooling off. So in other words, if you find out something afterwards in terms of um, the property is not what you expected or anything um, in relation to the property, there is no cooling off for you to uh, to allow you to pull uh, to pull out. So very, very important that you do all your due diligence before the auction. If there's if the property isn't being sold by uh, an auction process and via a private treaty, it is common for a cooling off period of five to 10 days to apply. So what does that allow you to do? Well, it allows you to do all the inspections that we talked about before, the checks and balances, I should say, pest and building reports, um, getting the contract negotiated with your solicitor, strata reports, getting your finance unconditionally approved, um, or any council inquiries that you want to do. You've got a period of time whereby you've agreed to purchase the property, you've agreed on the price, you've paid a holding deposit, and then, and then you're allowed to, um, to do all your final checks and balances in this final five to day, uh, 10 day cooling off. Clearly, um, pr uh, that we would always prefer our clients buy a property with a cooling off period, um, but it, it, the Sydney property market, the way that it is, and, and the demand for um, properties being quite strong, it is very common for properties um, to be sold via an auction process as opposed to private treaties. So we're here to help you explain the differences between the two. Auctions have a reserved price. In other words, the vendor has determined or the owner has determined the minimum that they are prepared to sell, to sell the property. Once that reserved price is achieved, um, then the property will be sold at the auction. Um, but, it, but the reserved price does need to be achieved for that property to be sold. So it is common for properties to be uh, what's called passed in at auction. In other words, um, the various bids from the buyers have not met the expectations of the vendor and the reserve price has not been obtained. If you are the successful bidder, and I touched on this a moment ago, um, at, if, you, if you are a successful bidder at the auction, you must sign the contract and pay the required deposit. And um, once you've signed the contract, you are automatically then agreeing to all the terms and conditions of the contract as presented to you. But you can negotiate those um, those contract conditions, but it all must be done um, via your solicitor and prior to the auction and be all in writing so that when you do sign the contract, you're signing a contract that you've agreed to as amended um, with the um, with the owner. Preparing for an auction, look, very, very critical. Um, and we get this question a lot from clients who have found a property um, who, um, and the property's being auctioned. Um, not ideal, um, but it is what it is. So how do you get yourself ready? Um, well, the first thing you need to do is, is make sure that all your inspections are being done. So um, if it's a house, um, your pest and building report, any council investigations that you want to do have to be uh, achieved. If it's a unit, strata inspections um, have to be performed as well. Has your solicitor reviewed the contract and negotiated any changes for you? Very important for you to do that, um, to make sure that the the, the document that's been presented to you um, to be signed at, at the auction, if you are the successful bidder, is um, in your, um, um, uh, that you're agreeable with all those terms and conditions, um, and you can negotiate any changes um, to, that, to that contract um, as agreed by the vendor, but it all has to be done before the auction. Um, it is very advisable, in fact, strongly recommended that you talk to us to make sure that you've got your finance pre-approved up to your maximum bid for the um, property that you're about to purchase and that you've got your deposit um, available as well in terms of the five or 10% and how that will um, apply. Again, we can give you some guidance on that as well. But certainly I cannot recommend uh, more strongly the importance of having your finance pre-approved 
before you go to an auction to put your hand up. Um, like I said before, no cooling off. So you've got to um, do all your checks and balances before the auction. Um, after the auction, it is too late if you find something out that you um, weren't made aware of. We do encourage that you attend as many auctions as possible before the auction so that you're conditioned and, and, and comfortable with the process of what's involved in terms of um, um, registering at the auction, the bidding process, um, the language um, and the communication styles of the, of the auctioneer and the agents and just the behaviour of all the important people that are there. Get comfortable with it because it is a very nerve-wracking uh, um, affair and if you're experienced in attending auctions and getting familiar with how the process works, they can make that process a little bit more smoother for you. So please do attend um, other auctions um, before your um, turn comes up. Look, as always, we're here to help you through the whole process. Please reach out to us and, um, and, and ask, ask any question that you may have at any time. Thank you for attending.